Welcome to another video in the tutorial series here at Stream 101. Uh, this video is going to be showing you how to set up a real quick and simple uh, playlist schedule, uh, as well as connecting it to the uh, Shoutcast server that we have set up. Uh, the process for connecting to Shoutcast version 1 or 2 is very similar, um, as well as Shout, uh, Icecast. So um, the steps to follow are pretty much the same. and uh, you have your streaming service from us at Stream 101, the uh, information is located in the same spots. So first of all, we have Radio DJ open, and we need to create a playlist. Uh, so we can set this up on automated mode. We're going to go ahead and click Options, and then go to Tracks Rotation. Right now we have nothing, and, and this is a very, very powerful tool here uh, that we can use to set up. There's tracks from multiple categories. For example, if we have some jingles, station ID, sweepers, commercials, things like that, that can all be programmed into the track rotation. I've gone ahead and imported just regular music uh, songs. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my first category, which I left default as 2000s, my sub-genre, which I imported all as country, now here's where, where I like to change it up just a little bit. We have least recently played. Let's go ahead and add that one. And then we notice that this changed back to all genre. So I'm going to have to come back and choose country again. I also like to throw in randoms. Go back and choose country. Least times played, maybe. Country. Maybe another random. and least recently played again. So this kind of gives you a way for Radio DJ to avoid playing the same songs in the same order. Uh, your first biggest thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have enough tracks. For the uh, demo station that we have uh, that is not in this video, there's about 500 tracks in that, that demo station. And uh, that seems to be about the minimum of, of what you'd like to put in there uh, for a good rotation that's not seeming like it's repeating all the time. So as I said before, th there's a multitude of different categories that you could pick from. Uh, we don't have any loaded, but I can show you. We're going to add a station jingle, and we'll do random. So what this means is it's going to play five songs from your selected categories up here. And then it's going to play a jingle. And if you notice, the repeat rules are unchecked here. And we're going to briefly uh, open up the repeat rules section, and I'll show you what that means. So let's go ahead and for now, press OK. And then we're going to go back into Options, and then Options again. We'll go over to the Auto DJ tab, and here's where they're talking about these repeat rules. What it's talking about here is not playing the same track or song for 360 minutes as well as not playing the same artist for 360 minutes. And as you can see, this right here in red says the higher number of minutes requires a larger amount of imported tracks, which makes sense because if you only have 10 tracks, obviously, unless they're very, very long tracks, you're not going to be able to hit those minimum requirements. We're going to go ahead and leave them as defaults. Uh, as it is now, because we're just doing this as a demo. But you're going to want to go back in and tweak the uh, settings that is specific for your station. We'll go ahead and close this here. And then we'll switch this mode right here from manual to auto DJ. And as you can see, if it fit our rules, it went ahead and put it in. Next thing we're going to do is go over to our AltaCast, which is up here. And let's go ahead and add our stream now. We'll press this plus button. We'll call this title the uh, Stream 101 Demo. We're going to go ahead and broadcast an AAC+. Plus. So our first step is to go back to our media control panel and log in. From here, here's your little dashboard. Your server's already started. We're going to go to Quick Links. And this has all the information you're going to need to know about setting up your station. We're going to tell us that it's the Shoutcast. It's got our host name. It's got our port. It's got our source password, 
which we'll go ahead and click on. And you'll see that it'll take you to this page. Source passwords here in a box. If you click this little button here, it'll actually put that in plain text so you can read it. So we'll head back to Quick Links. We know our maximum bit rate is 128 right here. So let's uh, hop back into Radio DJ. We've got Shoutcast. We're going to actually only stream at 64 kbps. Server IP is the same as our host name, so I'll just use a copy paste. Port number, 1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-